All right, Daniel, we'll start with you. Sergei Brubovsky, the only two-time Vesna Trophy winner we have active in the NHL right now at number 30 and coming off maybe his most successful season as far as the playoffs go. He did, and that was one stumbling block he's had throughout his career was the playoffs. It's not all on Sergei Bobrovsky. Obviously, yeah, the team in front of you has something to do with that, but last year he played well in the playoffs. But make no mistake, during the regular season, he's been sparkling a 919 save percentage throughout his career. And just watching Bobrovsky on a nightly basis in the Metropolitan Division, I see him a lot. He is one of those guys that you can't believe he made that save. You know, you're on the edge of your seat, you're going, you think it's a sure goal if you're the opposition, and he gets across so quickly. Bobrovsky, one of the best in the game right now, and the Florida Panthers paid him a lot of dough to get them across that line and be a playoff team again and be a contender. I think he's capable of doing that. The Florida Panthers are lucky to have Bobrovsky. They spent a lot. But boy, oh boy, I think it's going to make the Panthers a dangerous team this year. He's that good. He stops uh, almost every puck when he's zoned in. It's like you can't beat him. Yeah, I had a quick conversation with Joel Quenville, and he agrees with you <laughs> on every single point because he's fired up to have him down there in South Florida with right. the Panthers. How about at number 29? Blake Wheeler coming off uh, matching a career high with 91 points. Is this still a guy that kind of flies under the radar based on where he plays and how many stars he plays with? Um, I don't. I wouldn't say he flies under the radar anymore. Back-to-back 91-point seasons will do that for you. He underappreciated? Was underappreciated for sure. He was in the 70s before that, so 74, 78 points in the two previous seasons before the two I just referenced. And that's what I think has really opened up his star around the National Hockey League. He's formed a nice tandem with Mark Scheifele, but I think he's going to play some center this year myself. I don't think we'll see him on the wing. When it's all said and done, though, the world really turned up for Blake Wheeler in his career when the Boston Bruins traded him in 2011 for Rich Peverly. We know the Bruins went on and won the Stanley Cup, and Blake Wheeler took off like a rocket ship, and he hasn't slowed down yet. Winnipeg Jets... Love having this guy as their captain. He's big. He can skate. He can be physical. He's been a great leader for them. The Jets trying to get uh, the ultimate prize, the Stanley Cup. They've got a team built for it, led by Blake Wheeler. He brings those intangibles to him. Mean, it's not just offensive numbers. And they're lofty that you mentioned last couple oh, of seasons. Yeah. There are lots. But he brings those intangibles. He plays the, game, plays the game the right way, plays it hard. You can see it. He's determined every shift.